Hello everybody again from Simply Fodia YouTube channel. We have finished in the previous video the uh, raw material risk assessment about our three main raw materials in our orange juice uh, example that there is uh, orange fruit and the water and the air. Maybe you can also in your industry, maybe you can use sugar, whatever. Uh, so you can write here all the uh, risk assessment of your uh, product. Uh, we will continue uh, our risk assessment and uh, inshallah after finishing this has a plan we will uh, have another also example uh, if you have a um, uh, product which contain allergens or meat uh, processed uh, products uh, how we can sorry one how we can uh, insert this table in our uh, has a plan you can make all this copy and go to your as a plan we can also delete this table no need for it now and keep source formatting no problem don't panic from the shape of the table everything is gonna be all right don't panic okay okay then you lay out okay then you will start to arrange the table type of control control measure explanation okay All this will be from home and you can draw in this direction. Okay, but also this both this direction. Okay. So this is the table, but we will make all the to be smaller. So let's check the spelling of this table. Ignore all. Change, change, change. Okay. 
know this or the raw materials and our example in one paper <laughs> there is no problem there's a cell space here maybe you can modify the sentence tables Sorry, it's a little boring, but the formatting of the of your document is very important because the uh, presentation of your work is very important. So you must take care of your uh, shape formatting to be easily uh, reviewed by anybody. Okay, Control S and go to table layout distribution rows and columns no the rows only so we have finished here the uh, raw material risk assessment Okay, and now we'll go to the packaging materials hazard analysis. So our main table, just delete all these things and we'll write here the the packaging sorry. the packaging material also the temperature to be ambient temperature at our packaging material are the uh, bottles we can mention it for example that it is an uh, either glass bottle, uh, PET bottle. I'll enter. Uh, for example, it is an uh, PET bottle. Okay. We can keep. The radiation, also the radiation is uh, very rare. We must ensure the country uh, from which your packaging materials are imported from. Okay, the physical, or for example, also dust. The severity will be two, and probability five so it is in a multiply by this okay so it's in a medium risk what are the reason significant risk no explanation or reason bad storage bad storage and distribution and 
conditions. The control measure or the visual inspection and approved supplier. The visual ins inspection at receiving process, which is PRP. Okay, approved supplier. That means that you are auditing with the supplier huh? to ensure it's uh, uh, it's complying with your standards. Okay, receiving visual inspection for the packaging raw materials, approved supplier, and proper GWP, which is good warehousing. Practices. Tena PRP. Either in our warehouses, we will mention also in packaging materials warehouse or the supplier warehouse. Okay. This is the physical um, hazard. The chemical hazard may be um, in the supplier uh, using uh, this, we can say, raw materials and processing of PET bottles, not comply with old standards okay to be controlled from the supplier so it's very rare so it is low risk significant risk now and also this chemicals this control are the approved supplier and certificate of analysis Sometimes there is an issue in the design of the packaging material, but it's not a hazard uh, from the food safety point of view. It's an, from quality point of view. So uh, if you want to mention it in the uh, risk assessment, it goes to you, it, you are free. But the hazard mainly either physical or chemical or biological. There is no inequality hazard here. Uh, not any quality hazard. Some quality hazards are here and some not mentioned. So if you mention that there is a problem in the design or in the uh, specs or specifications of your packaging material, you must immediately um, uh, embed this part in the supplier uh, approval program or supplier assessment program. Okay, this is PRPs and also the biological hazard to be like the physical hazard medium no bad storage or insufficient condition means contamination either from the supplier contamination let's make it as either from supplier or the uh, storage, or we can say distribution. And distribution, okay. distribution and handling. 
either from the supplier or from our part the the visual inspection sometimes didn't detect biological because it can't be seen uh, by eyes but the control maybe you just keep it no problem in this uh, or you can remove it and approved supplier and proper GWP uh, practices and it is an OBRP so we have been finished here the packaging material risk assessment also don't panic can make it like the So these are the biological sorry this is the, the packaging material <clears throat> sorry risk assessment So, if you can here find our main table, here in the view navigation pane, the seven principle we have started with the hazard analysis. First one, the raw material hazard analysis, the packaging material hazard analysis. Stay with us to continue in the upcoming video, inshallah, the process hazard analysis, which is very also important in detecting the OPRP, CCP, or PRP, best luck of RFU, and thank you very much. Goodbye.